Hello all, this is Mohammed Aftab. Uh, in this video, we'll take a look at Ether Channel, which is also known as Link Aggregation. Uh, Ether Channel is a technology that lets you bundle multiple physical link into a single logical trunk. Uh, we'll take a look at how it works and what are the advantages of it. Uh, in the current diagram, I have two switches and that are connected to two computers. Uh, PCA is connected to switch B with a 1 gig link uh, and PCB is connected to switch 2 with another 1 gig link. Between switch 1 and switch 2 I have only 100 MB link. Right Now if one of the computer would send traffic that exceeds 100 MB of bandwidth we will have congestion and traffic would be dropped. Now to overcome this problem uh, we can add another redundant link uh, between two switches uh, and bundle them into one group or we can replace the link between switch 1 and switch 2 with a 1 gig link in this diagram I have a uh, two I did add a redundant link between switch 1 and switch 2 as a result I have overall 2 gig of bandwidth between switch 1 and switch 2 the problem with the setup is that we have a loop so spanning tree will block one of the link between switch 1 and switch 2 which means for example if switch it, if this ports number were 1 and 2 on both the ends based on the priority and the MAC address of the switches one of the uh, link would be blocked as a result we'll have only 100 MB of link active right Physically the links would be up but spanning tree would be blocking them to avoid a loop. What we could do is we could bundle them, bundle both the links into one logical group. As a result we will have 2 gig of bandwidth across the switches. Uh, we will be using uh, here Avaya's multi-link trunking. Right? Uh, Avaya multi-link trunk is a proprietary bonding protocol to bond two or more physical links into a single virtual link between the switches. So if you currently see this example uh, as I have three different links spanning tree might block two of them right uh, and to avoid a loop. So we will bundle them into one group as a result if these were one gig link so overall we'll have three gig of bandwidth right uh, and yeah that's MLT and uh, yeah I'll take this example now uh, we also have something called distributed multi-link trunk right this is also a proprietary bonding protocol to bond two or more physical links into a single virtual link across multiple cards or switches if it is a stack configuration right uh, if it is MLT or DMLT is both of them are Avaya proprietary which are equivalent to Cisco's Ether channel or port channel feature and Avaya MLT or DMLT configuration can interoperate with Cisco's Ether channel or port channel configuration in this particular example if I make this particular links into one MLT the MAC address would be learnt right this would be transparent between the switches right so when PCA is sending traffic on this particular trunk the MAC address on switch say if this is switch B and this is switch A the MAC address on switch B would be learnt on the trunk link right if it will not consider the individual link but the MAC address would be learnt on that particular trunk and upper layer protocols view the entire MLT bundle as a single logical interface for example if you are running rou routing information protocol say REF for example uh, it will learn the new route on one of the ports in the trunk and the next stop interface is the trunk itself it's the trunk interface itself for example if it was uh, a layer 3 bundle channel right and if it was dot 1 and dot 2 IP address so the rep will see that this is launched on dot 2 right the next stop would be dot 2 
the actual port chosen for forwarding is transparent to the routing protocol this also applies that uh, this learning rule also applies to a MAC address learnt on a port in the trunk the MAC address is identified in the forwarding database as being learnt on the MLT and not on a specific port I'll just connect to the remote desktop just bear me for a moment the configurations of MLT is very simple when compared to uh, LACP or PACP in Cisco, channel, uh, in Cisco right here what we do is the configuration is very very simple if switch 1 had uh, say if switch 1 had port 3 comma 4 right port number 3 and 4 connected to 3 and 4 ports on switch 2 right so in order to create an MLT we go to config t MLT one name we give them let's say trunk between one and two so that is switch one and switch two uh, any name it doesn't really doesn't matter MLT one will just add members say three comma four on both the switches right MLT one uh, we will not like spanning tree to see this so we'll disable spanning tree on port 3 and 4 so learning disable and we will enable track MLT1 enable so once I type this configuration the MLT will come up however if I want multiple VLANs so if you consider this example if VLAN wants to pass across the MLT1 I need to make sure that these ports are tagged right so I will just say VLAN ports tagging tag all that's it it's very simple so let me connect to the core and I'll walk you through that it's taking time just bear me for a moment there you go so in this current example I'm running uh, I'm using ERS 5000 series switch uh, my mistake show this info right so you can see that you know I'm running software version 6.3 on ERS 5000 series switches right so actually I've already configured uh, MLT between port 23 and port 24 uh, let me maximize this window for you so show MLT1 I've already configured this show MLT I just ran this command show running config module MLT it's like uh, using pipe symbol in Cisco if you want to see specific example or the specific configuration right so you can see this configuration config T then I gave MLT one name I just visit an IST and the members are 3 and 23 and 24 uh, I have also created another MLT which will be working or talking about this later in this example and I did disable spanning tree so when I see the output of show MLT 1 I see that the ID is 1 and it is trunking in order to trunk show config so 
so what I did behind the scene was I did tag port 23 and 24 so you can see this VLAN ports 23 and 24 tagging target which means I can allow the ports to be tagged like for example if I have VLAN 30, VLAN 40, VLAN 50 behind this switch and if that had to travel across this MLT which means this port 1, 2, 3 in this particular example should be tagged so what we do is VLAN ports 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 tagging tag all yep that's MLT simple thank you for watching